My name is Gary Norris, and we're making a little video about Fairbury. What do you like about living in Fairbury? Um, isn't it it's just so friendly? You can go to the store, you can go to the school, and pretty much everybody knows everybody, and it's just a real nice community feeling, and um, just safe. How would you describe uh, life here in Fairbury? I love it. Nice, easy, um, laid back. Not the hustle and bustle of a big city. Uh, well, people come here and, and they, they enjoy the town. There's a lot of things to do in Fairbury. What do you like about Fairbury? The people, they're always nice and kind to you. It's always a nice thing to talk to people and get into conversations. What would you say are uh, some of the benefits of living in a small town like Fairbury? Well, one thing for sure is that we're out here on a Saturday morning. Our cars are all unlocked. We're having fun with uh, our neighbors and I'm not worried about letting my kids run here and there. It's just a really nice town. I like the way it presents itself. It's very clean. It's very cordial. There's not a lot of traffic it, you know, as far as you know anything that you have to really worry about. And it, it just seems like a very nice place to live. It would be a nice place to be. Uh, I think it's a really good town. It's good if you're growing up here and it's a great place to have kids. And just, it's a good, nice little small town to live in. Hello, my name is Robert Walter. I'm the mayor of the city of Fairbury, a uh, native of this community. I'm very proud of that. Um, our community is committed to improving the quality of life for the residents in our community. And one way we can do that is by enhancing the opportunities that we have for them for recreational activities. To determine what our community's needs were, we completed a, an extensive needs assessment of the residents. And the results were that they were interested in some type of comprehensive intergenerational park that could be used by residents of all ages. Uh, the park is located just north of our existing swimming pool complex and contains a number of activities for students as well as young children and, and adults. Uh, the park itself has tennis courts, basketball courts, an inline skating area, practice fields for soccer and football, two baseball diamonds, a horseshoe pitching area, sand volleyball, a playground area that's full of uh, age-appropriate playground equipment, and a number of park pavilions that can be used for picnics for the residents. The park was made possible through a number of resources, uh, the generosity and kindness of Floyd and Marion Stafford, who originally contributed the funds that were used to construct our existing swimming pool, uh, the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, the Open Space Lands Acquisition Development Program, the City of Fairbury, Prairie Lands Foundation, which is a non-for-profit organization uh, that funds specific projects, and a number of private individuals. And the park itself is just under 22 acres in size, uh, provides the one-mile walking trail, uh, is landscaped with a number of trees, a number that have been provided for the community, uh, for the park, as living memorials to individuals who were or are current residents of the community. We're very fortunate to have this complex. It's used a great deal, and we are very, very proud of it. Fairbury's a small rural community, so we're very fortunate to have a facility this size and of this quality. Our taxes are very low in comparison. Uh, cost of living is low in comparison to many larger communities. We provide a number of services in addition to this park area for the residents of our community. 
We're very pleased to have the park and to be able to utilize it with the school system as well as individual groups. Hi, I'm Kenny Fair, Fair, Fair Real Estate, Estate here in Fairbury. Fairbury. Beautiful, Beautiful little, little town, town uh, 4,000 4, people. people. We feel, we feel like, like you get uh, a lot better, better deals, deals here, here than, than you would anywhere else. else. A nice, nice school, school system, system lot, lot to offer. To offer. Uh, several, several homes, homes and a historical register. register. We just, we just moved to school, school about six, six seven, seven years ago, so, so we have tax caps, caps, so they won't be going up. Several new subdivisions in town. Could be a beautiful timber, timber ridge, and then they also have one out behind the pool. It's really, really nice. nice. For myself, For myself I've, lived I've lived here all my life. I like, I like living, living here. here. I don't. I can't think of any place I'd rather live than Fairbury, Illinois. Superintendent of schools here at Prairie Central. Uh, we, uh, in 1986, uh, combined some smaller schools in the area, just to provide a little history for you. Um, those would have been uh, Fairbury Cropsey, Forest Strong Wing, and Chatsworth. And they all came together in 1986 to form Prairie Central. And I believe that that, uh, that action on the part of the people of this area really provided some wonderful opportunities uh, for children, for students in this area. The typical student here would attend an elementary school in his hometown, either Fairbury, Forest, or Chatsworth. Then when he gets into the fifth grade, he would attend the upper elementary school here in Forest, the building we're sitting in right here, my office is. Uh, when he reaches the seventh grade, he would attend the uh, uh, virtually brand new uh, junior high, high school on, uh, on the north side of Forest, a wonderful uh, complex uh, over there, uh, completed in 1997. Uh, after that, he would attend uh, a facility in uh, what known as Prairie Central High School. Prairie Central, Central High School, the uh, final stop for a student in this area, uh, would have a, just a variety of opportunities uh, for just about any type of career or life that one would like to lead uh, beyond that. Uh, we have the uh, an array of standard and remedial and uh, college preparatory courses at the high school, uh, all on the block schedule, which allows the students and teachers a little bit more time in, in laboratory settings to uh, complete some thoughts and to finish uh, um, some of the concepts uh, that were introduced that day. So it's, it's just a magnificent opportunity for students. Um, computer programming courses, a uh, number of uh, um, vocational courses at a student's disposal that we're very, very proud of here. Uh, in fact, they're probably a uh, vocational program second to none in this area. If a student uh, really ambitious, he could attend the vocational school um, uh, that is offered in Pontiac called the Livingston Area Vocational School and take courses there. Uh, we have distance learning opportunities, we have uh, computer programming that we teach, very sophisticated programming courses, uh, we have a couple of foreign languages, and uh, in the um, Standard, standard academic areas, areas uh, we, we feel that we have just a, a, a number, number of course titles that, 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 that are more than adequate to, to meet the needs of just about any student uh, with any purpose in life. Uh, we also have a very powerful uh, music department. In fact, uh, our Board of Education just approved a, a trip for the band program to Orlando, Florida next June to uh, perform and uh, participate in some activities at uh, Walt Disney World. So that's a really exciting uh, possibility for those students. So we feel like we have a lot to offer at Prairie Central, Prairie Central Schools uh, to the citizens and uh, certainly the children uh, of Fairbury Forest, uh, Cropsey, Strong, Wing, and Chatsworth. And, uh, we, we would welcome, welcome you to our communities, and if you decide to move here, and we hope that you do, uh, we will uh, promise you a, a more than adequate education, in fact, a very competitive education uh, for your children, uh, so that they can seek the, uh, uh, the paths in their life that are, that are most uh, appropriate for them. So again, welcome, 
And if you have any questions or you'd like to discuss uh, any possibilities uh, related to the school system, I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. I'm available here. My door is open, and I would love to chat with you about those possibilities. Thank you. Speaking, speaking with, with uh, Sharon, Sharon Walter, Walter for Fairbury, Illinois, and, and we're standing in the heart of the Fairbury Business, business District. Give us an idea of, of, of some of the businesses that, that, that uh, exist here on, on uh, Main Street. Well, well we, we like to tell everyone, everyone that you can get just about anything you need in Fairbury. We have two pharmacies, we have a um, paint, paint store, store that sells wallpaper, and we have plumbing shops, we have hardware store. We, we have, have a, a department store, store that's, that's a brand new store, store just a couple years ago. It's, it's a kind of a rare treat, treat to go in there and get to see things, things that possibly a lot of the bigger department, department stores, stores wouldn't carry. carry. Uh, uh, what, what about, about churches, churches uh, libraries, libraries, things like that? Our library, Our library is Dominion Memorial Library, and it's, it's very state-of-the-art. State we, we have eight, eight churches, churches in our community, community and uh, we, we can cover almost, almost all of the Protestant, Protestant faiths, and, and we have a Catholic, Catholic church also. And, and we have, have lots of eateries, so we can get Chinese food here, American food, pizza, subs, you name it. Sharon, Sharon, you got to tell, tell me, how do you, how do you know, know so much about Fairbury, Illinois? I'm just, just a very knowledgeable person. person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the Association, Association of Commerce Director, Director here, here in Fairbury. What are, your what are your impressions about Fairbury? Uh, it's, uh, it's a nice town, a lot of people friendly, friendly around here. I love, I love working. Yeah. Hello, my name is Mark Stephan. I'm one of the general managers at Dave's. Uh, my father is Dave, and he started this business in 1950. Uh, he started very small with uh, three employees, and we've grown over the years to accommodate our customers' needs. Our mission statement is just three words. It's wow the customer. We offer umbrellas if it's raining. We have free coffee back in the deli. Uh, we have a phone designated. There's free long distance phone calls uh, to 60 towns in central Illinois. What else do we do to wow customers? We made a conscious effort the last time we remodeled to put in over the counter shopping carts. At most stores, you fill the shopping cart, you get to the front end. What does the customer do? She has to unload the shopping cart. At Dave's, the cart goes over the top of the counter. There's no unloading for the customer. Our goal is to make shopping at Dave's more than grocery shopping. It's an outing. It's a social event. Much time and effort goes into how we can be different than other supermarkets. We advertise, experience the difference. Most stores you'll find that the plastic bags are primarily used and at Dave's you'll find paper bags and not only paper bags but handle bags. We buy many of the items we sell by the truckload and we pass the savings on to you. Our goal is to offer low, low prices every day. We have not only added to the building several times, but we've also added ample parking to accommodate our customers. We advertise, shop Dave's and walk out empty handed. Carry out service is our pleasure. If you look at our front end, 
not only are we bagging the orders, but we're also using handle bags, paper bags. Uh, we're bagging the cold separate. We're taking every order, regardless of size, out to the car. At days, we try to differentiate ourselves with other supermarkets. Whenever you see our logo, you will see, experience the difference. So we stress team, we stress the customer's boss. Hi, my name is Jack Sinnott. I'm the new store manager at the Dollar General store here in Fairbury. And uh, I've been a resident of Fairbury for 15 years and worked in the retail community. I'm also a city alderman and I've been active in the Association of Commerce. And I can say that Fairbury is a very strong retail community. We have a wide variety of stores in downtown, along Locust Street, uh, the main thoroughfare, Highway 24, we have also a great number of retail stores. It's a good place to shop. It's a good place to have fun. It's a good place to work. And I enjoy being a resident here in Fairbury. The Fairbury Fair. Little kids, big kids, adults. There is something for everyone at the famous Fairbury Fair. For over 125 years, people have flocked here to enjoy the petting zoo, kids project, carnival rides, and stock car racing. You'll enjoy it. One of the great things about living in Fairbury is that you have small town friendliness and easy access to big city culture. My husband has season tickets to the Chicago Symphony, the Opera, and many events in Chicago, Peoria, Champaign, and Normal. It's really easy. You just take Lakeshore Drive to the Grant Park Underground Parking and walk across the street to Symphony Hall. After a gourmet meal at Rhapsody Restaurant, you can enjoy an evening of beautiful music by one of the world's finest orchestras. Time Magazine rated Chicago Symphony Orchestra as the world's best orchestra. And if you live in Fairbury, you can go there as easily as if you live in Chicago. After the concert, it's an easy drive that takes you back home by midnight. Small town silliness, big city sophistication, we've got it good in Fairbury. How about water sports? Fairbury is near Lake Clinton, Lake Clinton, the Illinois River, and most importantly, the Vermilion River. Here, one group of Fairburyans meets every Tuesday after work to ride on the mighty Vermilion. Then, they all enjoy pizza at Monaco's, have a couple of cold ones, and solve all the world's problems. Hey, it doesn't get any better than this. For those of you who enjoy a more leisurely activity, check out the challenging Indian Creek Golf Course. And after your round is over, keep the fun going at the Indian Creek Country Club Lounge. Prairie Central sports teams have always been a source of pride in our community. And this year, the football team fought their way to the second round playoffs 
in the always tough Corn Belt Conference. Take a woman like your kind 